Hi, I'm Dave Cate of Dave Cate Photography. I had started a YouTube channel, I don't know, about six years ago. Didn't do anything with it. Wasn't sure what to do with it. Um, was really busy trying to get my name out there and it seemed like YouTube was one way of doing that. And well, I quickly gave up because I had more important things to do. So fast forward, it's now 2020, and I'm thinking that I'm far enough along in my landscape photography journey that, well, I think I'd like to bring some friends along, some folks along uh, to share my discoveries, to share uh, my processes with, to share my joys, to share my pains. Um, basically to share what I've learned about landscape photography in the intervening years. Now, I, I have to be honest and upfront with you. I am what I would call a part-time photographer. And I say that because I do not earn my main living from doing landscape photography. My main job is as an IT project manager, which I work 40 hours a week at. But I will say this. I probably spend almost as much time, and in some weeks even more time, doing landscape photography related tasks than I do um, tasking at work. If I work 40 hour a week at work, there are some weeks that I'm working 50, 55 hours in addition to my 40 hours on landscape photography related tasking. Now the difference between myself and a full-time landscape photographer is that a landscape photographer, this is how they earn their primary living. This is how they pay their bills. I do not pay my bills doing landscape photography. Uh, number one, I'm far enough along in my age and I'm far enough along in where I'm getting paid that to try to replace what I'm getting paid with landscape photography, well, that probably ain't gonna happen anytime soon. And so to pay the bills and to do the things that I um, need to do, I need to keep my job. But I also love landscape photography. And so I'm torn between the two. And so that's part of my reason for restarting this YouTube channel is that I have struggles as a part-time landscape photographer is someone who doesn't earn the primary living from landscape photography. Now, I do earn some money from landscape photography. I sell prints online. I do art shows. I also work with a number of different interior designers. And so I do make some money. I just don't make enough to earn a living off of it. And my guess is there's probably a number of you out there that find yourselves in the same boat. You may be working full time and yet you're wondering, how can I get better at doing landscape photography knowing that I'm not going to become a full time landscape photographer? So how do I balance that? And that I think is really kind of what I want this YouTube channel to be about is how does someone who has a passion for landscape photography, a passion for going out into nature and capturing some beautiful beautiful images. How do you balance that with working 40 hours a week and taking care of your family? Now, what I would like to cover in this YouTube channel is a bunch of different things. First of all is, you know, uh, everybody loves gear, right? Everybody wants to talk about gear. Well, I'm in the process of transitioning from Canon to Sony. So I, I've gotten rid of my 5D Mark II body, which I had for years. I have picked up a Sony a7R III, but I still am using a lot of my Canon glass. So how does that work? And what 
Sony lenses because this year is the year that I'm going to start replacing my Canon glass with Sony glass. So what lenses am I going to pick and, and why am I going to pick those lenses and, and what am I going to replace what I currently have with what the Sony versions are. So I figured that that might be something interesting for some folks. That might be some good food for fodder. You know, uh, what kind of lenses would you would one choose? Um, knowing what Canon glass that I've got, what Sony glass would I like to get? And maybe I keep some of my Canon glass because I don't find that there's really good Sony replacements. I don't know. We shall see. Other things that I might want to cover is things like planning for photography trips. I'm like a full-time photographer who has the time to spend weeks at a particular location. As a part-time, we only have days. And even if you have a week, you typically have your wife or your husband or your significant other. You probably got your children or their children and you probably got pets. So how do you manage all that? How do you manage your time as a landscape photographer and family time? And sometimes that's a struggle. Uh, took a trip to Hawaii this past spring and yeah, that was, I mean, last spring, and that was a real, real struggle. It's like, how do you manage um, having family, wife, adult daughter, and yet still able to do some landscape photography stuff? And I also want to talk about things like processing. How do you process um, a raw file into a final product? You know, um, Ansel Adams once said that the negative was the score and the print was the performance. And in this case, it's definitely true. The raw file is the score. You've done what you can in camera to capture the best quality image. So now what do you do with it? And that becomes the performance piece. And I notice that a lot of part-time photographers, people who are not doing this on a full-time basis, they use Lightroom as kind of like a crutch because Lightroom makes things, well, it makes things kind of easy. But the reality is to get the best out of your pictures, you have to step it up a notch. You have to, yeah, you have to step it up a notch and that's where Photoshop becomes incredibly useful. Um, and so there's some things you need to learn in Photoshop and they're not really that difficult. You just need to knuckle down and spend some time learning them, which is part of what I've been doing for the past couple of years is how can I learn to wean myself off of Lightroom for all of my processing and do some of my more important edits in Lightroom so that I can get the best possible performance, the best possible photograph that I can get. So we'll go over some of that stuff. And some other things that we probably will go over is, well, how do you do an art show? I mean, I do art shows. I'm going to do one here in three weeks at downtown Tempe. Um, and I have a 10 by 10 booth. So what does that look like? Uh, how do you go about doing that? How do you set up a tent? How do you configure your tent? Um, how do you hang your pictures? What do you hang them on? Um, what kind of prints do I make? The, you know, canvases and metals and paper prints. And, you know, how do you get um, the plastic bags and the mats and the boards, the backers? And, and, you know, we'll talk about how do you prep for an art show? Because there ain't very many landscape photographers that talk about any of that stuff. They talk about going out and taking the shot, which is fine and good. But really, that's kind of the fun part, right? The fun part is going out and ex exploring nature and seeing beautiful, beautiful scenes. But the real work comes after. The real work comes in processing that image. The real work comes in determining what size print you're going to make. The real work comes in determining um, whether or not that image is going to take space on your wall for an art show. And the real work comes with setting up for an art show. You see an art show for two days, but what you don't realize is that there's like four days worth of effort in there. There's the day before or the evening before when you're setting up, and sometimes you're setting up in the dark and then tearing down. 
tearing down after the art show, where you basically go from a fully decked out art booth to nothing in a couple of hours. And let me tell you, it is a lot of work. So that's what we're going to cover. That's what this YouTube channel, I, I think, I think that's what it needs to be about, is how do you do landscape photography part-time while you're doing your regular daytime job? How do you do it with integrity? How do you do it with passion? And how do you do it so that you can at least begin to start making some money at it? Now granted, like I say, I'm far enough along in my career path that I can't replace the income um, doing landscape photography without putting in a lot of time and basically starting from ground zero and working my way up. And I'm too old for that. I'm far enough along. I think if I was 15 years younger, that's what I would do. I basically would start working on doing landscape photography full time and eventually, probably after about 10 years of serious work, I'll probably get somewhere and probably make a decent living at it. But I'm not at that point in my life. And my guess is many of you are not at that point in your lives either. Either that or you're working at jobs where, frankly, you're just making too much. And frankly, you're not going to be able to make that up doing landscape photography. So having said that, how can we do it with passion, with fun, with a lot of hard work, and ending up with something that you can be proud of? That's what this YouTube channel, I think, needs to be about. So if you're interested in any of that, please just hit the subscribe button below. There's more videos coming. I've got a lot more stuff planned. And um, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.